Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for October 10th, 2016. Um, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time, what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. And since we're looking at energies, these will play out in different ways for different people in different areas of life for different people and so um, please keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading and apply it to your specific situation if you feel that it speaks to you. Um, and for those of you coming back, welcome back. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and um, before we get started I just want to remind everyone that for the month of October I'm running a special priced reading and if you're interested in that or you just want um, a private reading uh, the link to my website is in the description box below okay so we have an interesting day today okay the energy for, t for today feels um, it feels good it feels positive it feels like we're moving forward so first of all we have the ten of swords that wanted to come out okay I was shuffling it popped out put it back in the deck shuffled again, popped out again, and so I thought, okay, you want to be heard, okay. And with the seven, uh, sorry, with the seven of swords, with the ten of swords, um, this talks about a difficult end to a difficult situation. It talks about a time in our lives where, or when, we have been pinned down by hardship, responsibilities, um, a false sense of duty for some of us because that's why the Seven of Swords um, came out, you know. Um, a false sense of duty, a false sense of imprisonment. You know, by, what I mean by a false sense of duty is when someone places their responsibilities on our shoulders and um, they somehow um, explain to us that we owe something to them, so we have to do that for them. Um, and the Ten of Swords is just literally, you don't, you know, you're just crawled up on the ground. These are all the responsibilities. These are all the expectations. These are all the demands made by, by different people. Judgments they made by different people. And so they're really keeping us stuck in a very, very dark, negative place. The upside of the Ten of Swords is that it is a ten. So it talks about an ending. It talks about a completion of sorts. So it talks about, again, a difficult end to a difficult situation. But we do get up, okay? We do get up and we leave these swords behind because they're not ours uh, to bear on our shoulders, okay? These are not our responsibilities. These are not what the truth is about who we are, okay? If someone passes judgment. And it's about freeing ourselves from this difficult place, okay? Where thoughts and words... Um, expressed by other people are keeping us stuck in that place and it's a very painful place okay and we can't see the way forward anymore because our head is facing the ground we just want to hide away we just want to find some peace basically okay and so it's that kind of attitude that leads to us actually getting up and saying you know what actually this is not true. I know who I am and I don't need you to pass judgment. Or, you know what, actually what you're saying isn't true. This is not my task. This is not my responsibility. You are responsible for your life. You and you alone, okay? And then you have the freedom. So that's a separate message that came out. It is connected to the rest of the reading, okay? But it definitely wanted to be heard. So the first card that we have in today's reading is the moon card. You have, we have two major arcana cards in today's reading. So that just talks about um, the energy today may feel a bit intense, but it is divinely guided. The events that happen in our lives today, the thoughts, the ideas, the feelings that we have, they are divinely guided, so we are supposed to pay attention and definitely try to go with the flow no matter what's going on in our lives. Um, and if at all possible, focus on possibilities, opportunities, uh, new beginnings, embracing these kinds of energy. So the moon in the first position representing the influence of the past on our current situation. The moon is a card that talks about confusion, uh, confusion and delusion, delusion and illusion, okay? Um, it's a time of not knowing what's what anymore. 
not seeing things clearly, things that are hidden, things that are kept secret from us. Um, and it can be to do with this Ten of Swords energy in terms of not knowing where we stand anymore, not knowing what we are responsible for anymore, and what actually is someone else's responsibility. And the Moon is also a card that deals with our subconscious, and so our fears, our doubts, our worries, insecurities. And for some of us, some people actually took advantage of our insecurities and our kind nature and put different demands, expectations, or responsibilities on our shoulders when they were not ours to bear. And so that's what I feel that the Moon card represents in this position, in this spread, in today's reading. The energy of today is the World card, and this is beautiful energy, okay? So it talks about coming full circle with something, freeing ourselves from something, um, being free to have a new beginning, being free to move in a different direction, being free to make our own choices, being free to pursue our own dreams, our own goals, okay? The world card is all about being present in the moment, looking towards the past just to see how far we've come and just to see how much we've accomplished, and then looking to the future in terms of where is it that we want to go next, what is it that we want to start next. And so we're moving away from the Ten of Swords energy. We're moving away from the confusion with the Moon card. We are gaining clarity, okay, today. We know who we are. Because of all these difficult experiences, it wasn't all for nothing. It was painful. It was difficult. But as a result, we got to where we are. We know who we are. We know what our truth is. We know what our dreams are. We know what our goals are now. We have clarity so that we may free ourselves from whatever difficult situations you've been going through, okay? And the world card is a major arcana card, so it talks about a life change is what it feels like. For some of us, we are physically freeing ourselves from a person, a situation, or a place. We may be uh, moving today with the world card. We may be deciding to start a long trip. We may be deciding to take a significant trip. Um, today, we may start a spiritual journey. Maybe that's the trip, okay, for some of us with the world card. For others of us, this is, it feels like freeing ourselves from a difficult situation where maybe we were in the wrong job or maybe we were taken advantage of at our job. And with the world card, this is letting that end because we have a better position because we found a better job okay with the world card because it can also represent endings and new beginnings and it's a happy energy okay with the world card it's a very happy energy and it's feeling fulfilled it is feeling accomplished feeling blessed feeling a sense of purpose as well and more importantly it's feeling and knowing that we are free to be who we are, we are free to do what we want to do and to pursue our own happiness. We don't have to explain ourselves, we don't have to justify ourselves, we don't have to be afraid of other people's judgments. It doesn't matter anymore, okay? So with the Moon card, it's all very, the more you think about it, the more confusing it gets and the more intricate it gets. I can't do that because what are people going to say? I can't say that because what are people going to believe? I can't do that because these people are ex expecting me to do whatever. And it's just about saying, you know what? Actually, life's too short. This is not what I want my life to be. That's the kind of idea. That's the kind of mindset that the world card talks about for us today. This is not what I want my life to be, or actually, this is what I want my life to be. And it's a big change, but it brings a lot of freedom. It brings a lot of peace. It brings a lot of excitement for this beautiful new beginning because we are very much aware that this beautiful new stage in our lives that we're starting right now is what we want to start, is what we want to have happen. And we are supported by our angels, our spirit guides, and the universe, okay? And the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the Ace of Swords. So beautiful, Ace of Swords is clarity, seeing the truth, knowing the truth, seeing things differently, understanding things differently, a new perspective 
that it changes our lives. Having a bird's eye view over things. Maybe we're thinking, you know what, life's too short. Is this going to be significant in a few years from now? Am I still going to be here a few years from now? Do I really see that happening? The Ace of Swords is also rising above the clouds, okay? Because you're in the clouds here, you're above the clouds. And so that's pretty much the opposite of the Moon card. The Moon card is deep water. It's hidden aspects, hidden secrets, truths, hidden fears and doubts, anxieties that come with a lot of confusion. And the Ace of Swords is cutting through that, seeing things for exactly what they are. And that, again, brings us freedom, confidence, because the sword is in our hands. We decide what we want to do with it. Now that we see things clearly, we can decide where we need to change things, where we need to go, what we need to, to start, what we need to stop, etc. And so it brings a lot of clarity, courage, strength, and peace. And the Ace of Swords is triumph, it's victory, it's feeling complete, it's feeling excited, okay? It is a new understanding, a new way of seeing the world, a new way of seeing ourselves that brings us clarity, a clear direction forward because now we know what we want to do, and the courage and the strength to make those changes, okay? And we have the world card as the last card of the major iconic cards uh, representing completion. And then we have a number one card, which is the ace, the ace of swords. Just to confirm, just to reinforce, this is not um, a bad situation that is ending, okay? This is, it's not something sad that whatever situation the ten of swords is talking about, is ending. That's not a sad thing. It's a very beautiful thing. It's very freeing. And it brings a lot of clarity and change for the better. And our guidance card for today is Black 28. Find richness from the dark night. So 28 is a 10. Adds up to a 1. So again, new beginnings. And remember the, the night is darkest right before the dawn. And find richness from the dark night. Okay, the dark night is the moon energy. We don't see things clearly. We don't have enough light to see things clearly. It's dark, okay? And the moon may play tricks on us because, you know, light plays on shadows and so on, and so it gets confusing and it gets fearful or intimidating. And so this card is just reminding us of the fact that, yes, we've walked through the dark night. It may have been a long journey. It, it was definitely a difficult journey but it has brought us richness because it has giving, uh, given us the clarity of knowing what we want to do, what we don't want to do, what we want to have happen, what we don't deserve to have happen to us, what kind of people we want in our lives, what kind of people we need, we need to separate ourselves from, what kind of situations make us happy, and the situations that we need to separate ourselves from because they're just taking away from us and bringing just negativity in. So, going through this dark night has not been for nothing. It was not punishment. It was help from the universe to help us gain clarity. And with that, freedom. Okay? And so this is just confirmation. We're coming out of the dark night. We are stronger and we are richer for it. And there is more abundance to come because now we know what we're looking for. Now we know what we want to do. And the universe fully supports us in our endeavors. And they will help us and they will guide us if we ask for it. So it's a beautiful message for today. It really is because it's, it feels comforting to know that it was, it was not all for nothing. It was not punishment. It was not to hurt us. It may have been difficult and it may have been uncomfortable even painful, but we're coming out of it and we're stronger, wiser, and more rich, richer for it, okay, overall. And now we can create our own abundance because we know what it looks like now, okay? So there we have it. Beautiful message for today. They're also saying that for some of us, this is some, a significant life lesson, a significant karmic lesson 
that is concluding today and we're cutting our ties with bad karma. We're cutting our ties with karmic lessons that have had us running around in circles for a long time in our lives and not the most positive circles. And so that's another beautiful aspect. We're free of that. And now we can just move forward and just create positivity and blessings in our lives. Okay, so thanks for being here. I hope that this helps. I hope that it makes sense. Um, it's certainly a beautiful message and I'm looking forward to see what the day holds for us. Uh, thank you so, so much for all your support, truly, for subscribing, for watching my videos, for liking them, for sharing them, uh, for commenting. Thank you so much. Uh, for following me on Instagram, I really, really appreciate all the support that you send my way each and every single day. Um, and I send much love to you, each and every one of you. So thank you again for being here. I hope we have an absolutely beautiful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.